I'm Jonathan, I'm married to Susanna, and we are parents to two and a half year old Reuben, and we've got a second child on the way very soon. Uh, we've been coming to Wood Green for just over a year, having moved to the area from Kent for me to take up a job teaching music at the Royal Grammar School in town. So I was born into a faithful Christian household and was a very keen child, uh, going to church, loving all the Bible stories. Then teenagerism comes along um, and I decide to put myself above anything else, uh, let alone God or investing in him. Um, I went to university age 18 uh, and committed to church quite keenly, quite quickly. And I think it was then that I really came to understand the gospel for myself and the grace of Jesus, this message of redemption, um, Jesus coming to earth as a man to save me from the penalty which I should pay for my sin and shortcoming. It took me a couple of years to really reconcile myself to follow that. I had lots of doubts about whether this was true, how we could know. Um, so I did some research into the historicity of the Gospels and um, had lots of long, teary phone calls to my parents, um, but ultimately decided to follow Jesus, decided to commit to him and believe in him. Um, and I'm so glad that I did. I think if I'm honest, um, being a follower of Jesus makes more difference to my life than I realise day to day, because he, Jesus, really is the bedrock to my, my life, to my daily existence. Um, I remember when we did our marriage prep before we got married, the minister who married us asked what, what Jesus meant to us, and I said he was like a cushion to always fall back on. Um, and I maintain that today. Um, it's so liberating that God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit are, are unchanging, are always there, always constant. Whatever I'm going through, highs or lows, worries or joy, um, that bedrock is the same. Um, and I can be thankful, I can pray to him. Um, it's a wonderful thing. And I cannot imagine going through every day without that bedrock. It would be, it would be terrifying, actually. Um, so I'm really thankful for that security and freedom that comes in knowing who I am, um, what I'm made for, and where I'm going eternally.